You'll change your mind. It's a common thing that all child-free women hear when they tell people they're child-free. And now even a paint commercial is telling women that? A commercial for crown paint is pissing lots of people off. Let's listen. Four years ago, Hannah met Dave. What's the chance of finding a soulmate at an illegal rave? It must be low. But there you go. They dated for a while, then got a place together. He said, shall we have a baby? Hannah said, nah, never. And that was fine. At least for a time. Then one day out the blue, she stopped thinking no. She threw herself at Dave and said, come on, let's go. He said, steady on. I'm halfway through a scone. Baby's coming and they don't know what it is. Hannah's hoping for a girl. Dave's just hoping that it's his. And they're happy the spare room's no longer grey. Cos there's a baby on the way. 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 Crown. It's not just paint. It's personal. So, child-free people are obviously mad about how Hannah said no, never to having a baby and then out of the fucking blue changed her mind. Because that's how women work. They're fickle and they don't know what they want. No one knows what women want. They're a complete mystery. Women are told time and time again that they don't know their own bodies, their own minds, and they don't know what's good for them. Women's pain is dismissed by doctors. Women need permission slips to get their tubes tied. And now women are being denied the right to abortion care by the legislators elected to represent their best interests. So, obviously, child-free women, like myself, are mad about this ad because it represents everything that we've been fighting against. The idea that every woman wants a baby desperately, and that any woman who says she doesn't want kids will change her mind. And I will admit, some women do change their minds. Of course they fucking do. People are allowed to change, but usually there's a reason for that change. And in this commercial, we skip over any reasoning Hannah may have had for wanting a baby. One day, out of the blue, with no discussion beforehand, this character is suddenly gripped by baby fever, and wild with the disease, she throws herself at Dave, begging him to impregnate her. I hate this so much because it suggests that women's minds are not truly their own, that they are led by their hormones, and lady hormones are just fucking crazy. In my research, I found out that an all-male team produces ad, which says something about how ingrained these stereotypes really are. Speaking of men, what about Dave? We really don't hear much about Dave. There are some passive-aggressive lyrics about Hannah not wanting to have a baby. Hannah said, no, nah, never, and that was fine. At least for a time. And that was fine, at least for a time. You could just hear it in the delivery of this line in the ad. And that was fine. I mean, it's fine that Hannah doesn't want to have a baby, I guess. But as long as she changes her mind later, all is well and good. As long as she does her duty as a woman. Like, is this line Dave's opinion? Nowhere in this ad does Dave have an opinion. Does Dave secretly want kids, but he can't speak up and tell Hannah what he really wants? So he just says passive-aggressive shit like, you know, that's fine that you don't want kids. This patronizing, let the little lady have her fun now, she'll eventually fall in line. Kind of reasoning that just fucking sucks. The other reading of this ad is not any better. It's that Dave is a cuck and Hannah fucked someone else and got pregnant with another man's baby. Dave's just hoping that he's here. I hate this too, because the second thing we learn about Hannah is that she said no never to kids. We are to believe that someone who said no never to kids would not seek an abortion if they were pregnant and they didn't want to be. But I guess you don't paint your walls because you get an abortion. And the men that made this ad thought that a baby on the way would sell more paint, so... I'll include the link to the article in which I learned that little factoid in the show notes. But enough with the false narrative that women are somehow more deceitful and want to trick men into having a baby with them, that women can't be trusted. And in, in this case, we're damned if we do and we're damned if we don't. If you're a woman and you really want a baby, it means you're baby crazy, which means that you're broken in the head. But if you're a woman who doesn't want a baby, you're unnatural and broken in the head. I guess this is part of why we have the abortion restrictions we do in this country now, because men believe that a woman can't decide when it's right for her to have a baby. She has to have a man tell her when it's okay to have a baby. This commercial is so squicky that it led people to voice their outrage on both social media and to the standards board in the UK. <sighs> And then, of course, there was the inevitable backlash to the backlash from the anti-woke mob who cries out in agitation, stop being annoyed at this very funny joke, you snowflake. I am annoyed that you dare to voice your opinion. 
And my annoyance with your annoyance is more important than any feelings that you may have. So get back in your closet and laugh at my very funny joke because the punchline is that you exist. Look, it's not woke to tell the standards and practices board that this ad isn't okay. Defending the ad because it didn't land the way that they intended it to land and saying it was just a joke, that doesn't work anymore. All you have to do is just admit that your so-called joke didn't land. People speaking out against this ad just want creators to be able to take a critical look at their work. It's not about demonizing creators. This whole, it was just a joke, is just the same shit that Donald Trump does if he says something shitty and gets called out on it. No one can criticize him for it because it was just a joke. It wasn't meant to be taken seriously. And Crown Paints did this to a certain extent as well. They said, didn't mean to offend, just meant to be funny. Well, they failed at being funny and they did offend people. I'm actually okay that this video isn't going anywhere. I think it's actually a great thing to be able to point to when we talk about the flawed one-dimensional representations of women and child-free people in media. I myself was not actually outraged by the ad. I did hate it. I was so uncomfortable watching it, but I wasn't mad, just disappointed that women are still the punchline of egregiously unfunny jokes. If you subscribe to my newsletter, and you probably should, I'll include a link to sign up in the show notes. I uh, have a piece this week about how the child-free content movement is really having a moment and how people are really looking to connect with ideas around being child-free. And for good reason. The Supreme Court overturning Roe has made people who are on the fence about children more fearful about the outcome of forced birth in a case of an unintended pregnancy. Add to that the looming recession, or is it an in-progress recession? No one can seem to get that straight either. Either way, wages are stagnant, the cost of everything is going up, including the cost of having a kid. I recently read a Wall Street Journal piece about the cost of having a child in the U.S., and it is now over $300,000. Money has always been a reason to not have kids, whether it's a person choosing to be child-free because of the astronomical cost of having kids, or a family deciding whether or not to add another kid to the mix because they're already pushing their budget to the max. Having kids is a financial issue and a financial choice, and I just cannot get my head around the leap in logic that anti-choice conservatives have to make in order to justify what they believe. The same people who get outraged if the government even hints at telling people what to do with their money have no problem turning around and telling women that they should be forced to carry a pregnancy and pay all the costs associated with that pregnancy and raising that kid. And hey, maybe that's why Hannah didn't want to have a baby, because the price of having kids is too damn high. But seriously, until we have financial equality, until we have a better social safety net for all citizens, until the minimum wage is raised so people can actually fucking live on it, having a baby is out of many Americans' price range. And many people will choose to be child-free because they can't afford to have children. We'll see you next time.